Hello everyone and welcome to Smash Look at Wonder, a beautiful apocalypse. For as yours always, and this is brought to you by Kodats Games and published by Kiss Limited. Now this is a little game about two little Ronly robots. You're doing some lovely... It's, it's, it's got lovely music, it looks beautiful and everything. The only problem is, is you, prob the, you may or may not notice, depending on how I edit this, is big black bar all the way around. There's also no options whatsoever. Never do that for a PC game. But anyway, the, um, hopefully this game will turn around with how cute it is because it does look pretty damn cute. And music seems fantastic. It does seem like a two little ro robots on a little bit of a journey. Let's go to a new game so you guys can see what it's like. But like I said, I don't quite like the whole no options menu. It's got to be an options menu of some sort, even for sound, dang it. Anyway, I'll shush up so you guys can see what's going on. Once everything comes on, of course. Broke out! I mean, it's well put together, it's just the option menu is a bit of a dick for me because you, you want some at least sound or something. A little bit of robotic language? I'm sure we'll connect them in some way. Ooh. Ah, he's out, he's out. He's ready to rock and roll. Let's go, little guy. Nope, he's having a little look around. Let's see, he's a bit confused, of course. I have no idea what that says. Stop beaking on robotics. It's like, hello, is anybody alive? Knock, knock. One of the guys have run away already. Right, let us begin. So you get the movement keys are up down, okay, nice so nice to know. Z to interact. And Alt plus enter to switch to full screen. Oh we don't F one, so there is actually options. Uh okay, that's this odd. It brings up an actual reduced flickering screen, played via gem and emit. That's just weird. You can actually set pre- uh, you can change keyboard cut sh shortcuts cuts. Alright, that's a bit odd, but oh uh, well. Let's just begin. Let's go, little guy. Let's go explore. Where are we exploring? Maybe go this? Where do we go? Down the way? No, this way. We're both through the crack in the floor. Nope. No, we're going this way. Okay. More confusion for the little guy. Oh. So I'm guessing what this wants us to do is get these all to light up. Oh, he's enjoying the music. Okay. I haven't been pressing this. Nothing. So. What if I press this? And then do that. And then press this. And then that. No. How does one then get. Ah! Woohoo! Don't know what that's gonna do. Beat me up, Scotty! Don't know what that happened. Ah, uh oh. It's a bit of a desert ish land out here. Why is there there's robot bodies everywhere? Well, this seems very uncute all of a sudden. I'm here! Hello? Anybody around? At all? <laughs> You got all smiley. He's like, oh, it's dead. It's like, hello. I don't know what it's like. It feels like almost you're in like a, a sort of a cartoon, like comic book-esque type thing. The way it's kind of set out and everything. 
which is not a bad idea. The way around all the bodies and everything. And I've noticed the sly cutaways to kind of like reduce the amount of animation. I don't know, it seems like, you know, jump up there is like, never seen jump to the next body and it's probably going to be across to the left now. Nope. We're going to be able to control him yet? Oh, he's got an antenna on his head now. He's not alive either, buddy. I feel kind of sorry for him. The little gentle robot here is just like, Hi, please be alive. Uh, or you could knock his head off. That works too. Right, now we're going to get to control. Let's do this and see what we can find. Go back up to your murderous things. There's This is glowing. No, I wanted to know what this was. Oh. See, I knew it was something. Not sure what, though. Seems everything was powered at one point in time, because probably this area was not, like, built like this. I really, really, really wish I knew what they were saying. Uh, okay. This doesn't look pleasant. Can you walk over that? Or you could just jump in it, you know? I guess that wasn't good for the, the, the feet. It's like a little kid finding his way around, so we need to go around it. So, big purpley goop is not a good idea. Oh. So happy with himself, little guy. I don't think he's alive either. Maybe something inside there? Well, I take it we may need a crystal to open that door. He's having a big crystal slapped on its front. Or he's just away wandering. You know, Jasovsky doesn't care anymore. Only cares for himself. That's it, he's off. Poor little soul. You probably shouldn't be too lo lonely for too long. I just kind of wish, like, it's almost like you have to kind of, like, think of a game where, or think in the sense of, like, right, what's this going to be like? Like, you know, what's he thinking? Obviously, he's lonely and everything. And you're kind of having to come up with almost the story surrounding it in a way. He's really lonely. Sorry for the little dude. Cause you want to know what like what happened, because there's so many of these robots are just out of it and everything's broken, falling apart, there's purple goop everywhere, what the heck's going on, who knows? And then you get some funky ass music. No. So you can move these. Oh, it's a bit of a puzzler, alright. Okay, so we can move these. We've got health bar. Z to push rocks. Each ash consumes one bar of energy. Consuming crystal shards will store all your energy. Use wisely. Alright. Q if you're stuck, stuck at the puzzle. Alright. Uh, 
Get rid of that. Let's go across there. We can't actually get across there. Doesn't even work. Okay, that, this, and let's see. So we got a little bit of puzzling going on here. Um, this looks awkward. I think we can move that. Can we go on top of your head? No. Oh, no, 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 wake up, wake up. There's a crystal right there. Please don't reset the puzzle. Oh, god dang it. Alright. One way to annoy you. Let's go get that now. There we go with the S. And... Hmm. Which way do we want to go? Let's put that out of the way. Go back and get the crystals. So yeah, we get a little bit of puzzle going on here. This is what you're probably going to... This is what we can have throughout the game. Just keep that in mind. So, uh, hmm. Let's we take the crystal from there and then move that rock up. I don't know. That doesn't move. Hmm. Can go up here, but let's take this just now. Hmm. A bit of an impasse here. Can I actually work this one out? Because obviously you can't push that across there, can't push that across there. Stuck on the very first puzzle. Typical. Let's get this. Push this along and along. Let's see. Okay, so basically we need to kind of get to the one that's next to the, down from the wheel to push along. Or the one that's at the bottom of the car to push along. Bit of an impasse here. Definitely a bit of it. I mean, push that one out of the way. Hmm. That needs to be out of the way. For that to be pushed up, but pushing up is not really going to do us anything. Ah, maybe we'll see. I need another crystal though. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ha! I'm free. Phew. So is this. I wouldn't even say simple puzzles. It takes a little bit of thinking before you get anywhere. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there, though. This has been Wanda, a beautiful apocalypse. Thank you very much for watching this video of it. And you can find the Steam link down below. I shall see you all next time.